Hey guys, I'm talking about this new shotgun I picked up. This is a Harrington and Richardson 12 gauge uh, bird gun. It did come with this beautiful leather case with this kind of uh, uh, almost like sweater material inside. And you know, leather on the outside, very 19, like 50s feel to it. Um, and uh, I paid about uh, a little under 200 bucks for the shotgun in the case. The reason I bought this over the 22 that I went in for is, one, because I already have a couple 22s. I mean, uh, my dad has a couple 22s. I, I do not personally own a 22 right now. But um, you, as you see me filling with it, this is a, a poly choke. And basically what this does is it allows you to um, open and close a bunch of um, cut slivers. And here, let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus. Uh, you kind of see, um, but so your barrel is split into a bunch of like petals, kind of like a flower. And when you open and close this ring, uh, what ends up happening is your, um, is the flower, um, or how the barrels cut, it closes and opens from, you know, a just normal shotgun bore all the way down to a full choke. And, you know, everywhere in between there's modified, um, stuff and they all have, uh, markings let's see if i can get um there you go and i'll tell you this one which is this this is oh no that's h and h so there's your full choke there's your what is this there's your modified choke oh, okay and then here's your open right here so open modified full and then there's like tick marks for in between um yeah, but so I picked up this shotgun, not really knowing anything about it. Did a little research. And it actually has a pr uh, pretty cool backstory to the thing. Uh, the company, uh, H&R, uh, uh, &R, was founded by Gilbert H. Harrington and Frank Wesson, of, uh, the brother of Smith & Wesson, until uh, uh, Harrington bought out the company from Wesson. Then uh, he partnered up with... Uh, um, blah, 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 uh, Richardson, was I saying Reddington, uh, yeah, Harrington and Richardson, so, so I, I might be saying Reddington, uh, Richardson, my, my mistake, I just looked online to make sure, um, so, uh, the, uh, Richardson company, uh, uh, Richardson, uh, partnered up with, uh, Gilbert, to uh, manu uh, to start a manufacturing after the uh, I don't know where that break was the uh, late 1900s or no not late uh, early 1900s they uh, manufactured tons of um, handguns uh, or tons of revolvers I should say and m almost all of them were in 38 rimfire 32 or 22 long rifle or 22 um, WMR so I mean, you know, this, I mean, this company made a ton of um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pistols for something that you know I personally have never heard of until now. They also made a uh, full auto um, submachine guns during World War II and uh, flare guns during the First World War. Um, but enough about the company because that's not really what people are here for. If they even tune in, they're here for the uh, shotgun. And I mean, very, uh, I don't know if I did, I've uh, redone this video a few times now, let's see if I can, uh, there we go, yeah it is, so it is 100% loaded, and uh, the earlier takes I had, you know, showed that it is clear, and started with the uh, thing open, um, but I mean, so, you know, I picked it up at the gun store, I'm like, you know what, 100, and, I think it was like 185 bucks is what they had it for, um, yeah, 185, 186 bucks. Um, you know, plus all the tax brought it a little over 200. Um, but I mean, I picked it up and I just kind of pumped it. I didn't even look at the price tag. And uh, I, I was looking at the poly choke and I'm like, wow, this is cool. And this is something you don't see every day. I racked it a few times. I, you know, said, I'm like, hey, can I drive fire? They said, sure. So I went, you know, click. And I'm like, Wow, okay, how much? Right? I'm expecting, you know, $400, $500 price mark on this thing. The guy tells me that price, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm picking this gun up. There's, 
I mean, I'm going to look at more guns today, but I am. this is the gun I am buying right now. I got it from a Smoke and Barrel Guns in Simi Valley where, uh, in California. Um, yeah, I keep touching the trigger. I really like the trigger, how it's set up. It's like a long, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, a long bar with the curve in the trigger. So you have a big spring right here, and so the brake's up here, so you need to go click. Um, and so I think that's interesting. Instead of just like the uh, brake over here, the bolt is a very flat faced. There's not a lot of a, I mean, there's a little curvature at the top, but it's very, it's a lot flatter than like an 870 bolt. And if you notice, the uh, um, shell port is very small. I didn't actually notice that until I was messing around with it right here. It's um, a lot shorter, so I think you're only going to be able to be loading, you know, two and three, uh, two and a quarter inch or two and, uh, what did it say? It should sit somewhere here on the barrel. Show you the case for a second. Uh, two and three fourths. There we go. Um, the wood wasn't destroyed on it. The wood actually looks nice. I mean, there's a, a little bit down here is, you know, fucked up, but, um, the wood looked okay on it. There was no, like, big scratches on the gun, and I mean, you know, this is probably someone bought this thing in the, you know, 60s, you know, shot it a whole bunch, or shot it, you know, I mean, shot it enough that, you know, it's, it broke in and smoothed out, but it, didn't destroy the gun and you know they got old they uh sold it off or they passed away and uh someone came in you know inherited the gun and said you know i don't need a shotgun how much will you give for me they probably gave him like 80 bucks for the thing and put it up for 180 and i mean i'm happy you know it took me like a day's worth of work to purchase this shotgun and i mean you know i was gonna go in there and get you know the cheapest 22 they had just for uh, 22 in my safe and I left with a 12 gauge so I'm probably gonna definitely post a video of me shooting this and impressions on the gun see if it's you know uh dirt digger or, or not dirt digger a uh, paint mixer or if it's a shootable shotgun I definitely want to see how this poly choke works because that that was the real selling point on the gun yeah you know what I mean used guns I mean I I think I think the only gun I ever bought new was my AK-47. Everything else has been used just because if you find someone who hasn't destroyed the gun or, you know, abused the shit out of it, you can get a relatively good gun that's gone past that horrible breaking in period. And, you know, you could get it for half the price. Well, this video is already eight minutes long, so thank you so much for uh, coming in. And if you watch to the end, um, you know, thank again, thank you so much. Um, yeah, no, leave any comments you have about uh, this if you don't want to, like, go read the whole Wikipedia page like I did. I'll be uh, happy to answer any questions. See you guys.